Hello, this is Games and Shears. Uh, this is the start of my new series. Uh, this is going to be a, f a basic Photoshop uh, series, teaching you how to do just the basics in Photoshop, obviously. Um, so today we're going to make something along the lines of this. Well, you are. Uh, this is just a basic desktop background. Uh, it's I think it's three layers in total. Very, really simple to make anyone anyone can do it so what we're going to do is start a new layer, a new uh, page sorry. you want the width as 1366 pixels and the height as 168 de uh, pixels depending on your screen resolution obviously the easiest way to tell is just to right click anywhere on your um, on your existing background go to screen resolution and see what the recommended resolution is that's what your screen resolution will be uh, you want it in RGB color 8-bit and you can have background contents as, as transparent that means if you moved anything around on the background you wouldn't have anything in the background it would just be 100% clear so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and there we go we've got a blank canvas uh, have a look on the internet find a few pictures you you want to use um you want really you want them the same as the uh as your screen resolution off google so i found two pictures i'm going to use one being it's called quantum space found it on google just make make that fit just like that right click on the layout and sorry right click the layer and rasterize layer layer one done easy as that okay you, I mean you can have a look at the uh, lighting if you want to change it but I'm happy with what mine is at the moment so there we go then we're gonna go click on that layer so you've got it highlighted then click control shift and N that will give us a new layer click OK just as it comes up and then we're going to go to file place and on this image I don't think we've got enough stars well sort of star texture in this area and these areas down here I think it looks a bit bare apart from the sort of neon effect that's going on the feathering so we're going to go for this picture here as you see it follows sort of the same pattern as what happens here but it it's, does a little bit more so we're just going to drag this down into that corner there hit shift go to the top corner and just extend it up simple as that place it move that just so it's more or less in the middle then right click on there sorry do it again right click on the the main bit rasterize layer and then we're going to go to one of these find one that you like one that puts the colour I normally find that uh, soft light looks nice overlay looks nice and hard light looks nice if you do if you take oh I've clicked so there we go sorry I clicked the uh, by the way that <laughs> just to just, just go over my mistake that is viewing the layer if you click that click them on and off it's what you can see so yeah on that one if you put it on a hard light then take the fill down to about 50% then just knock the opacity down just until that blends in nicely just like that I think that looks nice so I'm gonna keep mine like that it's your background you can do whatever you want with it I mean I'm, normally the best thing to do is just put it into overlay like that crank the fill up and put the opacity up a little bit more that looks nice more stars but I, I do personally I do prefer it with the hard light and knocking the fill down to 50% and the opacity down to about about 30 30 looks good there you go looks very nice okay so now what we're gonna do is just click on that layer once again control shift and N 
give us a new layout. We're just going to call this one text, just for just for ease of access, I suppose. I'm going to go down to the text, and we're going to put it down here with a feather in, because the next tutorial I'm going to do, we're going to be using the same background, but I'm going to show you what, show you a way that we're going to get the text to blend in. So we're going to just drag a nice big text box down there, because the font obviously is quite big. Now that that size of a text box taking up maybe one third of the page well of that sort of portion normally 100 points in the font size does it nice and we're going to find a nice font that one fits my YouTube background and my standard font so I'm going to use that one I mean you can go to uh, da font put that into Google and you can find absolutely any font you want. I've got uh, a nice uh, graffiti font somewhere. It's Rays, I think it's called. That's the one there, Rays one. That's a really nice font. Uh, there is there's one here. Uh, it's like a Japanese, like a Japanese style font, Tokyo Soft. That's called. But yeah, there's loads. So we're gonna go for a uh, Starliner. And I'm going to put my name in. Just like that. I'm just going to extend that out a touch. Whoops. Just like that. There we go. And then click there. Just place that somewhere nice. That looks really good. I like that quite a lot. And then we're going to just uh, double click on the main section there to bring up the layer styles. You can drag this anywhere. I like to put it above just to give it, you know, just uh, an easy viewing. I like to do a drop shadow, put it up to solid. Solid meaning 100% um, um, opacity. And then just put the distance up to about 10. Just so it gives you a bit of bit of distance away from the actual text and you, I like to use a nice tail colour for the shadow maybe a little bit darker than that maybe getting into a grey yeah that looks nice just like that and I mean you can just put the size of a touch maybe to 10 same leave the noise the way it is noise just it 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 basically just particle or it like makes it to a particle effect doesn't really look too good so and then we're going to go to an outer glow. I like to use a teal gradient. I've got one saved in there, but I'm going to show you quickly how to do it. Best way, just click on that, and then go to colour. Then around there is like the best sort of teal colours. And lighten it up. I'm going to go for a bit darker this time. And there we go. Knock the opacity down. Just so it gives it a nice sort of glow on the outside nothing too strong just like that and the spread again on that that just obviously spreads it out further normally two or three is nice and the size obviously the bigger it is I only like about five on the size looks nice in a glow can do if you like again a nice sometimes a, a black gradient on this looks a bit better, it just puts a little bit more depth into what you're doing. So I'll put that there like that. Uh, bevel and emboss, that, that just puts a bevel onto the uh, onto whatever you do. It makes it look a bit more 3D and bubbly, but it's not really what I want for this font. I want it to look clean and crisp. That um, the satin puts a, uh, I think it's a shade of colour over the top, I'm not quite sure what satin does. But it looks nice, so we'll put satin on. Stroke gives it an outline. That's basically all it does. I think a, a, a small outline looks nice, and again, I'm going to use a lighter colour than what I'm using just to make that text look a bit more glossy. Pattern overlay, I mean, I've got two patterns on here, I don't, I don't use pattern over, overlay at all, I don't like it. So, unless you can get to find some nice patterns, then use it by all means. A gradient overlay is basically a gradient is where it goes from one colour to the next. So, uh, with this we've got black and we've got that teal colour so by all means you could uh, 
do that and then on the bottom layer here click on color find that teal just like that you got the black going into teal and that looks quite nice I suppose so yeah and that's basically it you can play about with it as much as you want for the text you can put other objects in cut them out then uh, just put a shadow on maybe drop drop the opacity a bit just to make them blend but basically that's it that's a simple desktop background with text and w using basic skills of Photoshop using um, different ways of doing the text uh, different ways of um, creating text different effects and using blending two two background pieces together to make one background look a bit more fuller and a lot more professional uh, okay this is going to be my new series I'm going to do a lot more basic tutorials on Photoshop and I'm learning myself as well so you'll be basically doing step by step the same as me so yeah uh, I'm Jay this is Games and Shiz uh, please rate, comment and subscribe uh, yeah, uh, peace out and uh, much love everyone. Cheers, thanks for watching.